Hi, I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's going on at the movies. And a major going on right now is the thriller, The Killer Inside Me, starring Casey Affleck, like you've never actually seen him before. Casey will be with us in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at a scene from The Killer Inside Me. What do you think you're doing with that? Sheriff's office, ma'am. What are you doing with it? I have a permit. Are you satisfied, copper? Well, I reckon it's all right. And my name's Ford, ma'am, not copper. Jesus. The only decent looking guy I've seen in the stink hall, and he's a boy scout with a badge. Casey Affleck, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. You, Casey, are in a movie called The Killer Inside Me mm -hmm. um, from the Jim Thompson novel, written in, I think, the early 1950s. Mm -hmm. And it, I think, debuted at the Sundance Film Festival this year, where it prompted some controversy. Some people mm -hmm. said, I'm walking out. I can't bear this. This is too much for me. How do you react to that when they say that? Well, I think that um, you, you ought to uh, know what you're in for a little bit. Um, now that's not to say that I, I, I feel like any kind, any kind of violence is, is everyone ought to be able to tolerate in any movie so long as they know that there's violence in the movie. Um, but I think that with this movie there's fair warning. What attracted you to this movie? What made you say, this is something I want to do, Killer Inside? Uh, I mean, every time I do a movie, someone, I either, just me, I'm asking myself that question, or other people mm -hmm. ask me. And it's really hard to come up with an answer. I think that um, just because it's sort of mysterious. It's, it's why I like the script, I like the director, I like the conversations with the director about the script. Michael but, Winterbottom, he's yeah. really an interesting director. He's a mm -hmm. Brit who's doing a a really American kind of mm -hmm. film noir, mm -hmm. which is what this is. Mm -hmm. I hope you boys didn't chew up a perfectly good tire for nothing. How do you see you when you're reading the script? When you're looking at it and you're saying to yourself, I see me doing this particular scene. Did, was there a moment when you were looking at that script where you said, yeah, I, I get this. I get that I can do it. The first scene in the, in, in the script was, um, Ironically, and this brings us back to the controversy of the film, but was the, the one of the, the, the murders when he beats this, this woman he's fallen in love with, mm -hmm. um, he's having this secret affair with, um, that he's afraid is going to get out. And, and what's more is he's, gonna, he's afraid that it's going to bring something out in him that he won't be able to contain anymore. And he kills her, uh, he beats her to death. And that was the scene that actually kind of made the most sense to me, just because. <laughs> Sounds strange and horrible, but it wasn't the violence. It was this like weird paradox that somehow made sense to me. You're growing up. You're doing this. You got this like it's extra work that you're doing on these movies that are being shot. And yeah, like you know, uh, just the guy who walk, walked up and down mm -hmm. the sidewalk. The kid. That was me. Do you ever look at those now? Like what? What were one of those movies that we can go? You look know, the at only one that I could ever find was uh, Leonard Nimoy directed it, and it was called uh, The Good Mother. And I don't remember you in that, I have to say. You just, don't remember me in I that? don't recall you I in that That was fantastic. At all. Were you, were you, you, did you eat something or open? Uh, uh, no, I did this great little uh, cross, street cross. Yeah, There's, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't remember who it was. I think it was um, a couple of actors in the foreground, and I did this fantastic. I was careful not to upstage them. You know, I didn't want to like, draw I attention to myself. Would. Well, it, I remember seeing you in a movie the first time where the part was there was a Gus Van Sant movie, which was to die for. Mm -hmm. and. You weren't playing like a healthy, psychologically healthy individual in that one mm. uh, either. It wasn't quite the killer inside me, but no, it just. That was funny. Yeah. And when you do that, when you get a part of some size in a movie like that, what did you think? Did you say, this is it? This is what I'm going to do? Well, um, I had moved out to LA after high school and I started uh, looking for an agent and tried to f start auditioning mm -hmm. and um, I spent that whole year, I was 18 years old, and um, uh, auditioning for you know, TV shows, anything I could get an audition for, which wasn't much. And then I got to um, this meeting with Gus Van Sant, but um, 
I kind of thought it was just an anomaly. It was this kind of lucky, it was a fluke, you know, it was something that happened. I got this job, but if I moved back to LA, I would just end up, you know, going out for kind of Saved by the Bell things, things I really didn't want to do. And um, so I didn't move back. I stayed on these ghosts. I went to school, I went to college, I went to, I didn't work on movies for a few years. But I stayed close friends with Gus Van Sant and we ended up working together. Um, and then Goodwill Hunting comes ab about that time? Well, I was in school and um, Gus called me up and he said, you know, I read this script by these two guys, Matt Damon and, and Ben Affleck. Is, that a, is he your brother? And I said, yeah, he's my brother. And um, he said, well, it's pretty good. I'm not done with it, but I like it a lot. And I said, oh, good. Well, finish it. And um, <laughs> yeah. he did. He ended up doing it. And then I ended up doing you know, playing a part in that one too. And then um, I did Jerry with Gus after that. And um, so I would, I owe a lot to Gus and, and to the experience of To Die For, for sure. Ben does have a pretty good sense of humor. You know, I could see he was in over his head, you know, he was flailing and I just wanted to help him out. <laughs>